What up, Kale Sun? What's up? What's going on, guys? We are here at the first official GRP Cars and Coffee of the season. Kale Sun, how excited are you? We're yeah. excited. You know, we waited all winter for this, and now it's finally here, so let's get into it. We out here at the Cars and Coffee, doing the Cars and Coffee stuff and things. We got cars. So we got coffee. Welcome to Cars and Coffee. We got Zach, it's bright, the sun's in our face. That's because we're on the roof here at the first GRP Cars and Coffee of the Year, Zach. How are we feeling? I see my dad down there. Really? Yep. Shout out Zach's dad. <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome though, it's awesome. Kale son, I knew you came back Good. just for this event today. How do you feel? I don't know, you look down the street, you can't see the end of the house. It's literally all the way back here, just lined traffic. <laughs> That's how we and do it's a only GRP. 9, 10. That's how we do a GRP, boys. It literally just started. I mean, 10 minutes after the event actually started. We have this lot full, that lot full, that lot full, the next lot down. The whole street gets shut down. I mean, it's insane turnout for the first of the year. Now, this is our main lot right here. We kind of keep some of the more expensive things, things that are a little more bespoke and one off is down here. We got our radical race team over here. We got a little area for the kids. We got some of our sponsors and vendors around. And then, uh, like Zach was saying, across the way over here, we've got a couple other lots full of vehicles all down the front side of this building. Okay. Like we talked about earlier, pretty much all the lots in our surrounding area are full. So we are currently probably like half a mile down the road and uh still finding lots pretty much packed out with cars so this is honestly probably our biggest meet to date so far but we'll keep heading down the road see if we can find some more cool stuff About a mile down the road now from our main GRP shop. You saw some of the crazy stuff that was out and about. Again, this is still full parking lots everywhere. All these surrounding businesses. I mean, it's incredible. The turnout, this is definitely one of the larger ones that we've ever had. First one's usually always bumping. Everybody's excited to get out for car season. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. So we're going to keep walking down the road here, see if we can find some more exciting builds to get in on. So we are here with Gary from the Holy Rollers Hot Rod Church. Gary, tell us a little about this truck. I mean, we saw it coming in. I mean, this is incredible. It's a 1951 Ford F1. It, uh, it's an old army truck that came from out west, so it's good and patinaed out on the top. Oh, yeah. The bottom is good and solid. But we dropped her down with a four-inch dropped axle, and uh, we spiced up the old flathead a little bit and stuck a, an overdrive automatic transmission in it. So. We're pulling some 370 gear so we can get out on the 465 and not get completely ran over. Hey, but, there uh, we go. It's a good, uh, it's a good slow cruiser. It gets a, a lot of attention. It's uh, uh, fun to bring to events. It seems like the young kids really like it the best. They, they, uh, they think it's a cousin to Tow Mater, <laughs> so we play up on that. That's awesome. Well, definitely in the world of what we kind of have around at this event all over, I mean, this is this is definitely different than kind of the usual, so you know, immediately caught my eye. But you know, thanks for telling us a little bit about your truck. We yeah, appreciate it. Sure enough. So talking about more cool builds, we're here with Oscar. Oscar's got yeah. uh, this 1973 
standard Beetle and it's been completely custom made. Air, air ride, sound system, motor, and obviously the paint job as you can see. Airbrush, took weeks. You airbrushed and, it? Yeah. You did it by yourself? All, that's all I do. I'm in charge oh, of okay. all the airbrush. That's then, sick, dude. So, and that's all we do. And obviously it has to be a Volkswagen because I've grown up around Volkswagens. My dad's been around Volkswagens. Even got pictures of me as like a three-year-old and just working on the motors. And as you can Yeah, show, show us what's under there. Show us what's under there. See, this one was a stock 1600. We opened it up, bore it out a little bit. Now it's a 1641, so you know it keeps up with traffic, not not that slow. Looks good, but, dude. Like you guys really did some work on this. Yeah, for sure. Sick, dude. Well, thanks for showing us your build. Yeah, no problem. So talking about people that are here supporting GRP and this whole process, we've got Tom here with Peak Garage Equipment. So Tom, tell us a little bit about what Peak does and what you guys kind of offer. So Peak is a residential lift company. We offer anywhere from four post, single post, two post car lifts for your car enthusiasts. Uh, we can do anything from garage setups for you with snap-on toolboxes, air compressors, you name it, we can get it taken care of for you. Uh, you can find us at peak-ge.com or in Maxwell, Indiana at 212 North Main Street, Maxwell, Indiana, where we have a full showroom with all of our lifts and products on display. We're open Monday through Friday, eight to five on weekends by appointment only. And feel free to stop by and see us. Thank you. Well, so some of the cars that GRP has, of course the SLS, the 930 Turbo, the GT3 Touring, 812. We got a little bit of everything going on over here. Some more of our client cars that we have, 997.2. And we got, of course, the old 765 LT, and a couple RS boys and some Lambos back here. So a little bit of everything kind of going on at the GRP main shop. But, uh, you know, shout out Singer as well. So we're also out here with our boy Isaiah. What's going on from up, RPP, guys? Ray Hall Paint Protection. Isaiah, tell us a little bit about what RPP does for our customers. Sure, yeah. So RPP, Ray Hall Paint Protection, is going to provide you with all your protection services. We've got paint protection film, which is your heavy impact protection. We've got ceramic coating, good display right here, going to be great environmental protection. We also do window tint, that's going to be your privacy and heat rejection as well. Just introduced some home window tint as well, going to be a great new product we're rolling out this year, but um, yeah, all your paint protection products here. Well, so if somebody wants to get in touch with us about getting some of these things done, what's the best way to go about that? Absolutely. So if you get on our website, rayhallpaintprotection.com, i say there's a good uh, lineup there of uh, all of our services as well as uh, where our shop is. We're in downtown Carmel. So feel free to give us a call as well. So cool. I'll help you out. Appreciate you, Isaiah. Thanks, yeah, man. No problem, Take man. care. So, obviously, we've got some shop things happening today. Got a lot of stuff torn apart. What What do you um, you guys look forward to most about cars and coffees at GRP? Mostly meeting people that don't get to see these cars taken apart very often. Um, we get to take apart million dollar cars every day, and that's just what we love to do. So sometimes we put them back together. Now, if somebody wanted to get their car taken apart and put back together, what, what do you suggest? I would say reach out on social media and we can get you in the shop. Love it. All right. Thanks, Cody. Oh my God. Hey, speaking, of, speaking of people with fast cars, you're that guy on Instagram with oh the fast, that one fast car, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you've driven this fast I've car. I've driven that fast car faster than he is. Oh. <laughs> you want to see this video of me crossing the finish line before him? No, there's no proof. There's, there's a video. <laughs> Listen, anyways, we're talking about fast cars. Would you want to show us your fast car? Yes, let's go. For dude, it. let's go talk. All right, dude. So let's 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 talk about your build a little bit more. Now that we're now that we're here, that's right. Let's get going. That's right. So obviously, the GT500 platform. It's an amazing platform. Yeah, dude, we love it. I wouldn't have anything else in this world. Uh, so starting off, we got the uh, uh, S650 taillights. Uh, love it. 
we got the Euro set up, and actually this is one of the first. This is the first GT500 with these tail lights as well. Okay. Uh, company reached out to me, and they were like, "Hey, we like your build, and we'll see what it looks like." Yeah, dude, perks, right? Yeah. <laughs> got uh, the GRP build sticker too, of course. Oh, got to right. Got, got to you, represent. Got you. Got you. So uh, we got uh, welded uh, uh, exhaust pipes, so it's never quiet. <laughs> never. Always loud mode, dude. Always, always loud. <laughs> As you can see, we got the signature wheels set up with the 18s on with the Mickey Thompsons. Gotta have the big boys for the speed. Fast, 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 fast and furious, baby. <laughs> Little shout out to the Instagram. There you go. Uh, going to the front, we have the uh, liquid vinyl uh, front splitter. This company reached out to me, and this is the only GT500 with this front splitter. So I thought I remember you saying this is the only one in the country. The only one in the country right As far now. as we're aware. That's right. That's awesome. Also, we have the uh, carbon fiber extenders here. Okay, okay, a little carbon fiber, and then I say you also had another carbon fiber piece that I just noticed on here. That's right. We got the uh, hood vent from uh, uh, Signature Wheels, uh, Hans uh, Solo. He uh, makes these, uh, uh, I think it's a 3D platform, I believe, and then uh, you just kind of like slap it on almost, but it's real carbon. Okay, full yeah. real carbon. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the wrap done. Uh, it's a satin black wrap. Now, I think what everybody's anticipating here, because we're talking about fast cars, you got to show us what's under the hood. All right. Let's see. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for Are you it. sure, dude? I'm, I'm sure. I'm positive. We got to right. see this thing. This is like your moment of truth right here. Got the pops. Oh baby, look at that thing. It's kind of like the ruby, dude. Crown jewel right here. It's crown jewel. Jeez. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about it. What, what do you got? What all you got in? This? So obviously we got the big giant Whipple on here. It's a 3.8 Whipple. Uh, with the uh, full Whipple platform with the air intake and the pulley system. It's a 3.5 pulley over here. Uh, we also have the uh, Shelby, uh, Shelby America intake. Uh, then we have the uh, JLT catch can. Uh, it's full fuel system from Leaf Performance. Uh, and it runs on E85. E85, little corn fan, huh? All full E85. There we go. And then we have the uh, cook headers. You can see the indentation in there. Oh yeah. And uh, full exhaust, no no caps. Now, the question that everybody's gonna be asking in the comments, I'm sure, what is the horsepower? How fast does this thing go? So like, we can either go through the real numbers or what I just tell people. <laughs> well, what, do, what do you tell people? So I just tell it makes right like right at a thousand, like okay. right around there. Okay, now what does it actually make? It's like 1150. Jeez, 1150 and that's wheel and crank or? So, so crank is 1150, it's uh, pushing about a thousand to the wheels. Jeez. Depending dude. on the weather, you know? Now I know we've seen this thing on the airstrip a time or two. It, I mean, it moves. It does. It moves, so. Dude, I plan, that's honestly, sick. I plan on making it a little quicker, so... Even faster? <laughs> I think no we can, way. I think we can get a little quicker. That's awesome, dude. Well, we appreciate you showing your build today, yeah, brother. Sure. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. So that's a wrap on our first Cars and Coffee of the Year. So, it's fantastic. Grace, how do you think it went? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Kale Sun? 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10? Oh. You're best. What was your favorite part? Um, seeing all the kids and the families enjoying. Shout out to the families and the kids enjoying the community. Kale son? You gotta go with the cars. You can't, the cars were amazing. That was Carson's aforementioned GT500 that we'll be highlighting a little bit more of here. My favorite part? Yeah. Here, Kale, you can. My favorite part, I mean, the donuts are always good. We love the donuts, but I think just seeing some of the unique builds of people that we have in the area, I mean, it was super cool seeing some of that and hearing their stories. So, always. Give me that back. Well, Kale son. That is officially a wrap on GRP Cars and Coffee number one. We had a really great turnout, a lot of cool stories, a lot of interesting people that we got to meet. So really happy. Thanks to all of our vendors who came out. You know, really looking forward to what this season is going to bring for us. But as always, if you have any questions or comments about service or anything with our vendors in general, feel free to click the links below, come to GrahamRayHallPerformance.com or find us on social media at GrahamRayHallPerformance. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.